Welcome back! Thank you so much for participating in those two activities. If you have not completed page two of your chapter eight activity packet or the, the Our Father activity on the previous slide, please go back and do those things now. But let's see if you guys got the prayer right. So I'm going to read um, the Our Father prayer from my prayer and I want you guys to read your prayer our fathers allowed with me and we'll see if they match okay so let's start in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen we're reading from page two of your activity booklet our father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Now, how many of you got that prayer right? Raise your hand. Whoa, great job. You guys did an awesome job with that. Thank you so much. All right. The great thing about this prayer is that you can pray it at any time, no matter where you are. It's such a great prayer to pray because it's easy to remember, and it keeps you really connected with God. All right. So, let's move on, and we're going to talk about the Eucharist and the Our Father prayer at Mass. So, the Our Father is also known as the Lord's Prayer. Have you guys ever heard that before, the Lord's Prayer? Yeah, I bet a lot of you have. And the that's the Our Father. That's what they're talking about. So, at every Mass we say this to prepare our hearts to receive Jesus in the Eucharist. That's why it's so important that you learn this prayer. The Our Father sums up or it describes everything that Jesus taught us. And because of this, it's the perfect prayer for the church to pray together. And you know, a couple lessons ago, we talked about how important it is to be united with all our Christian brothers and sisters, our friends, and this is a great way to be united with them because all Christians know this Our Father prayer and they say this prayer at their services too. Isn't that really cool? It's really cool. So all followers of Jesus say this prayer together. So that's a great way to be united with them. So as you read more of your Bibles, you will keep hearing about the kingdom of God which Jesus also mentions in the Our Father when he says, Thy kingdom come. The kingdom of, Go of God is the power of God's love ruling over the world and our lives. In the Our Father, we ask God to make his kingdom grow on earth and in our lives. So that was a little information about the Our Father. I hope you enjoyed that. So at this time, you are going to turn to page three of your uh, chapter eight activity booklets and you are going to complete that for me. And then after you're done, I will see you in the next slide.